Um, uh, 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 the countdown has begun. Uh, I'm on my way out, everybody. Uh, I'm in the picture taking business. Uh, I'm going to fill it with a think tank to kind of rethink uh, uh, what I think. Why don't you call for a tote? Call for a tote. Not call for a tote. I feel compelled uh, to leave uh, this city in exactly. Uh, hold it, hold it. 75 days. 75. Ah, 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 75 days. John and Ken Show, John Cobell and Ken Shampo, KFI, AM 640 more, stimulating talk radio. 75 days left of mayor, mayor failure. This sad clown who is stumbling from event to event, babbling about his stupid million tree program, which was a complete dud. It looks like he really wants to leave a legacy of trees. Uh, I mean... I think he's hurt because those running for mayor have talked about what a mess the city is with the deficit, with the potholes, all of the problems that L.A. has. He seems to be devoting his latest media appearances towards touting what he thinks are his accomplishments. And today, this one's, yeah, John's right. This one's weird. He appeared with the U.S. Agriculture Secretary, Tom Vilsack, to celebrate the leadership and contributions of key partners in the mayor's Million Trees L.A. initiative, launched in 2006, they now claim more than 400,000 trees have been planted. Now, a few years ago, some out news outlet discovered that only 400 trees had been planted. Not a million. <laughs> 400. And most of them died. They were they were handing out uh, little uh, saplings or little saplings. plantlings at uh, events know, like uh, carnivals a, and city uh, events. And you would you would take it and it would, you know the, you'd have the tree planted in a little basket and you'd put it out on your porch and you're supposed to get it replanted but most didn't and they just died. <clears throat> so that was four hundred. Now I don't know how they got to four hundred thousand. I don't believe it. I think s- just a week ago it was three eighty thousand. So it's jumped twenty thousand in so, a week. That, that see that's not possible. <laughs> I, I think that's such BS. I swear to God, I wish I had the time. I, I would love to prove that this is total nonsense. Can somebody give me a map? Ray, call the mayor's office. Ray. Ray, no, seriously. I think we'll start another little uh, a little uh, crusade here. What's I this? want, oh, you want the, uh, a location the proof? of all 400,000 trees. Where are they planted? I want to drive around and see them myself. I don't believe it. It was 400. Now it's 400,000. B.S. 400,000? How do you even do that? Who did it? I like it better when you go B and S. B and S. <laughs> oh, this is such crap. You should see this press release. And they have, what is this? He presented certificates of appreciation to representatives of the key nonprofit and corporate partner organizations in the Million Tree Program. And it's like a two-page list of people that got yeah. what, medals? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like they were handing out badges to Cub Scouts here. I think somebody called up D.C. and said, look, we know you don't want Tony Villar for any cabinet position. Eh, the whole Charlie Sheen thing, he's been a mess. However, could you do just one favor? Send this Vilsack out here. No way. <laughs> he is a Vilsack. Send us a Vilsack to make it look like uh, Villar a... did great with the trees. Eh, all right. All right. We'll right. send you a little. So this sack, came, <laughs> Vilsack came out and stood next to the sad sack. <laughs> and and we got some clips to play, and we're not making this stuff up. These two really stood there, and and the media showed up. That's what's nuts. I mean, you well, know, we did. I don't know. Well, who else we did, did, but we had different purposes here. We did. We did. Obviously, all right. Uh, here is Vilsack uh, lauding Mayor Villar's accomplishments. This is a mayor that actually did something with the office, and he's outlined for you his environmental record, which is probably as good as any environmental record of any mayor in the country, and potentially any mayor that's ever served. <laughs> There you go. Doesn't sound too enthusiastic, though. God, politics sucks, doesn't it? Here's the Imagine quote. you're flying from Washington, D.C. to try to try to prop up this clown, Villar, and you actually have to declare that he's got the greatest environmental record of any mayor in history. Yeah, what you're the right. heck? I mean, Aren't there bigger agricultural for, problems than to send Vilsack all the way out here for this? I, uh, to, can, to, you, why didn't Vilsack say, no, I'm not going to do this? Or uh, did he just want a week in L.A.? This is like Villar's own version of Farm Aid. <laughs> this is just... Let's play uh, clip number two from Vilsack. Make no mistake about it, 400,000 trees is an enormous accomplishment. 
an enormous accomplishment, and to have done it <laughs> without necessarily taking money away from education and some of the other things that the general fund funds, which are important to the citizens of this city, is no small feat. All right, Bill Sack has no idea what he's talking about. The mayor, the city has no control over education funds. Fantastic. That's the L.A. school board. So he, he did protect school money while at the same time <laughs> planting the these, these, these trees. <laughs> what an odd thing to compare. Oh, well, oh he protected. He didn't steal any money from the schools uh, to plant the trees. <laughs> well, he couldn't steal any money from the schools. That's not possible. There is no school money in the L.A. budget, you bonehead. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's cut number three. He is th- a Vilsack. Yeah, more of the Vilsack here. Cut three. This is a big deal, uh, and and no one should should be focused on what didn't get done in the first eight years of this mayor's administration. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a second. That was really brief. But what? <laughs> that was cut four, I think. I know. Uh, what, what cut no, was that? No, no, it was cut three. I think there's only six cuts, three from Vilsack and three from Villar. Oh, that's it? Oh, I thought he but, was going to talk about the shade. I want to hear that again. Let me hear that again. This is a big deal, uh, and and no one should should be focused on what didn't get done in the first eight years of this mayor's administration. Mm, double negative. All right. Now, does he mean because they only planted four hundred thousand trees instead of the million, or is he talking about the fact that Villar is such a failure? Here's at least something to trumpet. He's saying don't concentrate on the fact that only four hundred were planted and he not did. six. And not all right, the, yeah. but it, it sounded it, like a more sweeping statement. All right, but uh, somewhere along the line, he also praised this tree program for creating more shade. Yeah, we don't have that clip, now, do that, we, guys? This, this is a no. Did, that's a Ray mistake. Okay. So, but did he say something about shade? We don't know. (laughs) It says more shade, nicer looking city jobs for teenagers. Did Villar say that? I don't look to the government to provide me shade. If I need shade, I'll plant my own tree. I, this I don't understand. I'll bring this, an umbrella. That, that's exactly. You you wear a you wear a hat. Take an umbrella to the beach for shade. I, Can't bring a tree. So this is Villar's great accomplishment. He created shade. All Fantastic. Right. Now we got the Villar clips. So let's start with the first one. All you hear is that the dreamer said we were going to plant a million trees, and we didn't. Do you think he walks around muttering to himself all day? This is about, part of that. You know, I'm not on the front pages enough, and uh, that's why people didn't vote. I, I am not a failure. Did you hear me? I am not a failure. Yeah, that's what I he's am doing. Not, I'm the, not, I'm a, not loser. a failure. That's what you call it. I'm not a failure tour. <laughs> oh, come on. Because <laughs> he's going to spend the next 75 days continuing this message of I am not a failure. I planted trees. This is like Nixon. I'm not a crook. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this one's good. It looks like he's come up for a reason or come up with a reason in this clip about what hurt the million tree promise. Let's listen. You're darn right. We said we were going to plant a million trees and we, w- we will. Who knew at the time that we were going to be in the worst recession since the <laughs> no. 1930s and that we wouldn't spend one general fund dollar. Wait a minute. You're really blaming the economy for the tree thing? How does that work? The economy killed the trees. People wouldn't take the free trees because they had no money and no job. <laughs> or is he claiming he couldn't get the corporate the donors? private? Yeah, it was a yeah. privately funded uh, project. Oh, they stopped because of the but recession. How much could a tree cost? Yeah, giving them like a hundred dollars for the tree program. How much is a seed? <laughs> We didn't have any money for seeds. Play that again. That is great. You're darn right we said we were going to plant a million trees. And we, w- we will. Boo, Who boo, knew boo. at the time that we were going to be in the worst recession since the 1930s and that we wouldn't spend one general fund dollar? You know, they well, this ha- is right out of the playbook. Always, always blame the economy, but this time, really? Yeah, Over they the didn't trees? have trees in the 1930s either, right? That's why you had that dust bowl. All the trees died. Bad economies kill trees. All right, the last clip is really brief, and I think we're probably going to include it eventually in our little countdown clock opening. Let's hear it. I'm on my way out, everybody. (laughs) Thank God for that. Play that again. I'm on my way out, everybody. (laughs) This is my failure tour. (laughs) Oh, that is so funny. He has no idea. (laughs) Just shut up. Shut up about the trees. I'm, Nobody cares. I'm leaving it. I'm taking my Ville sack with me. <laughs> I'm going to fill it with a think tank to kind of rethink uh, what I think. 
You're going to miss this. Admit oh, it. Yeah. Oh, you are going to miss this after July 1st. You know, I, I just think we're going to keep playing Tony Villar clips because Eric Garcetti looks as, as dull as a wooden board. I don't think the mayor's going to disappear. <laughs> I'm on my way out. Yeah, but he won't get as much coverage if he's not mayor, so we can't get as much sound. Not as much. No, hey. he won't get nearly as much. He can come here any day he wants. You know how well, bored he would be in a think tank? He should get it. Yeah, he could get a weekend talk show. I what, think he could. What, what I if, think he will. I think you'll see on, him on television. Go. People who can't think, what do they do in think tanks? Do they just sit there with blank looks on their face? I mean, they must feel uncomfortable because everyone else is sitting there thinking, and, and he can't. So what's he going to do? He's going to feel embarrassed. You imagine all the brain farts if he hosted a talk show. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, come in here anytime. He might S- stay as long as you want. All right, coming up <laughs> after six o'clock, an update from Boston on the marathon bombings. The John and Ken Show, KFI AM six forty, and John and Ken Show.